Well, we're back with singer and actress Gloria Loring and uh, author, and uh, she's speaking. She's going, doing lots of women's events, and men love to hear her. Men, this is the thing about Gloria Loring. Women adore her, but so do men, and we don't get jealous about it. That's the quality you have. Well, I think We're everywhere not, I go, everybody's a friend. I, I feel like, I, because of this coincidence thing now, and because of uh, 25 years of meditation and all of, all of those good things that I've gotten uh, more in, attuned with myself, I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm home everywhere I go. And I never know when somebody's going to reflect back to me something wonderful. So I'm always on an adventure. Let me see these eyes. Let me see who this person is. You know, you talk about starting meditation. And I'm a 32-year-old woman trying to kind of come into my own with, like, yeah. you know, self-confidence and kind of finally coming into that space that I'm feeling comfortable as a woman. When did, what age did you start to feel that way, like really confident, like this is the woman I'm going to be for the rest of my life, take it or leave it, and everyone will be a friend, and you're oh, either I, with me or you're against me. I still don't know that. I'm still working on it. You know, <laughs> I'm still it, working on being the woman I'm going to be for the rest of my yeah. life. And I might figure that out one minute before I leave the planet. But <laughs> but I, I think that, that one of the things that really helped me was was healing stuff from the childhood. See, my both my, my parents, uh, not both my parents, my one father, my only one father, <laughs> was, was alcoholic. And there was what I politely call inappropriate sexualized contact when I was very young. And that I didn't realize the depth of that wound until I was in my early 40s. Wow. And I that's, remember when. Yeah, yeah. And, that's, and I recount my healing process in the book and my forgiveness process. I wrote a song about it called Song of My Father. And there's a line in it, um, your wound became my scar. You know, he lost his mother when he was very young and he became an alcoholic and both his brothers did. How can I blame him for what happened when he was drunk out of his mind and not in touch with his true self? And so I've come to understand that anyone who ever does anything harmful to anyone else is not in touch with their true self. That so is so interesting they, that they, you say they that. They've forgotten who they are. And I think if you've, if anyone... I don't care if they murder, if they whatever, you know, yes, there's forgotten. pain and mm -hmm. we have to process our own pain, but ultimately they didn't know, they weren't in touch with their trueness, with yeah. their true heart, you know? Yeah. Because there's there is something in there we are given that is inviolate, that nothing ever touches, that nothing ever changes. But we lose touch with it. We get into the outside world, and you know, I lived my life for everybody else, and I had to cry for four months, every day for four months, to finally figure out that I didn't have to live my life in order to try to make people love me. Right. I had to first of all find out how to be comfortable with this person here. And that's part of, I think, what Courtney was talking about, is just getting to that point where you feel confident as a woman. I, I think we could have the entire show and just listen to the two of you and probably learn so learn much as women, a lot. no so, matter where you are in life. But can I, can, I we've been so deep and, and yes, no. about coincidence and everything. Let's I, get superficial. Just for a second, can we get superficial? And <laughs> because that's why Lisa and I came into this. Yeah, room, no, I'll be in charge of that. <laughs> when you walked in the makeup room this morning, I said, oh my God, you are gorgeous. That's Your right. skin is absolutely Your skin beautiful. like glows like you just had a baby. And like I, that pregnancy <laughs> glow. Okay. And, and I'll, I'll say, I, I won't be rude and, and reveal your age um, if you don't want to do that, but your skin is phenomenal. And I asked you what you do. Can you share with everybody what you do? Well, because it's so much what I believe in. About the time I discovered meditation and Course in Miracles and all this stuff came into my life right when I needed it most, um, I discovered Ayurvedic medicine. And Ayurveda is it's actually translated from Sanskrit as the science of life's 5,000-year-old system, kind of like Chinese medicine and acupuncture is to, in, to China, this is to India. And so I've been seeing the same doctor for 24 years, and I feed everything from the inside. I go to bed every night at 10 o'clock, just about, and get up at 6. I meditate. We know from studies that people who meditate are physiologically 13 years younger than their peers. Wow. Because what we're doing is reducing cortisol, because we're practicing peace. And when you're in peace, DHEA, which is the anti-aging hormone, is produced more. When you're in stress, then you're producing cortisol. Which is why people that are stressed out look like 10 years older yes. than they really it, are. It takes a toll. It takes a huge toll when we have stresses in our lives. The cortisol, so, it's also what causes the fat around the middle and all sorts of It does all, all of kinds things. of unfortunate mm -hmm. things. And what happens is sometimes we ramp ourselves up to the point where we don't realize, we, um, it's like our thermostat gets set really high for cortisol, yeah. and we don't realize that we're rushing and not breathing. And, and being a certified yoga instructor, of course, I did the breathing and, you know, all, all of that. So I, all of that so stuff. So what do you eat? Do you eat normally? Like, you know, do you eat beef and do all that? Do you eat junior no. cheeseburgers from Whataburger? No, I don't eat beef. <laughs> no. Oh, I heard Seriously? about Whataburger. <laughs> I heard about Whataburger. No, maybe once a year I have yeah. beef. I, chicken and turkey, a little fish but a lot of vegetables and supplements herb 
supplements? Herbal. Yeah. Do you do sugar? You put sugar in your coffee? Oh, a little bit. Sure. Do you drink? Oh gosh, not you guys. much. No, it okay. doesn't agree with me anymore. No, it it goes. It either. just makes gives me a headache, and then I re the next morning one glass of wine is like ugh. Well, you are you know? absolutely glowing. You are. And, and, and one of the things that helps Gloria is that she's married to a terrific man. Yes. And we're going to talk about that later in the show. Okay. Because we know everybody else, but we need to know about him. <laughs> Gloria and I and are heading over. And there's a story in the up. book. Gloria and I <laughs> are heading over to the Broadcast Music Cafe right now, and we'll have a song from Gloria from there in just a few minutes. <laughs>